Okay, so My Hero Academia, the strongest hero, has been confirmed to have a global release coming very, very soon. And we know this because on the Google Play Store, you're able to pre-register for the game, just like you can do with Ultra Impact. Now, I am recording this quite early when the news has been announced, and right now the pre-register function is only for, I believe, US Google Play Store. So hopefully, by the time this video does come out, that you are able to pre-register outside of the US. Also, iOS does not have this pre-register function, so we're not too sure whether if it's a US-only region lock, kind of like how they do with this Chinese version, and if it's only Android devices only. Being Android only is probably unlikely. The global release is getting published by Sony Pictures, so there's probably going to be a lot of, at least hopefully a good amount of budget for the game's release for the global side. Now, I haven't played this game for a very long time. I'd say a few months now. I'm going to log back into my current account, see what's changed with the game, whether or not I'm going to continue playing this game, maybe make content on this game when the global version of this game comes in. We'll see with this video. Unfortunately, I'm not into the whole arena battler anymore. Turn base is where I'm really more comfortable in, which is why Ultra Impact really sparks my interest rather than this game although this game was fun at the time so if you guys enjoy like this arena battler 3d which has pvp in it then this is definitely a game for you but for me personally that's not me uh we're gonna be looking at what they have they released in terms of characters so where i last left off i was pretty far with the story i'm at area 9 and there's only 13 areas that you can do in the story mode i presume it looks like it hasn't released any more story stages. So 13.6 looks like to be the max. I'm not going to get there uh, for the sake of this video, but that's just my estimate. If you guys have played this game and you've grinded all the way to story mode, let me know where it actually ends off. Honestly, this game has been quiet on my end. I haven't really heard much news. The last news that I ever received was uh, Suya coming to the game, which was pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, like, news for me just dropped, whether that's because I'm in the wrong community or whatnot. Uh, but let's look at all the characters that you can summon in this game and use as characters. So, we obviously have, like, the characters that I left off with. Uh, and these are the characters that you can get that I haven't gotten. And the new releases is, you know, Endeavor, uh, All Might, of course, Shigaraki... I left when Aizawa was released. That's when I quit the game. And um, and then we also have Stain. So in the time that I haven't been playing, they've released one, two, three, four, five new playable characters. And it looks like they aren't going to be going for the, you know, gacha game-esque style, uh, multiple different characters. So once you get a character, that's they're going to be their only form which is very interesting. I'd assume there's going to be awakenings for characters. I don't know if Deku has an awakening yet. Uh, I don't even know how you can tell at this point. But I've seen some different arts for Deku, so it is definitely possible if maybe you get him to S, triple S form or something like that. Uh, they have released some new costumes, so that's going to be a thing. This is, I assume, Chinese New Year. Uh, but not everybody has a costume yet. It does give like a different aesthetic look which is pretty good. People definitely like the costume game. The goal of this video is to show you guys, is it worth it to put your time into this game? And whether or not posting videos about this game is worth it for this YouTube channel specifically. Uh, so they haven't released any new story stages. What else kind of events can we expect this late into the game? Uh, Co-op, it looks like we have a new game mode called Team Up. I don't know if that is different to any of these other game modes because you always run a team in all these other game modes for the co-op, obviously. Uh, and then for the versus, it is exactly the same. We still have just normal PvP, I believe. And then we have Collaborative War, which is an auto battler. Yep, seems all standard to me. Uh, so I feel like late game is going to be very not intriguing, but I mean, they've got PvP and they got all these other things that you can do at the end game so that's fine i'm not trying to hate on the game at all it's just that my love for ultra impact a little bit more than strongest hero okay so for the summons this is probably the most disappointing out of all of the features that are out right now for this game uh the reason for that is there's no real new banner to summon on uh which is kind of means it's kind of like dead in a way 
Uh, that could change, obviously, if you can pull the new... No, okay. So you can't pull any of the new S-tier characters, like All Might and stuff like that. So it seems as though those were limited summon characters and they aren't coming back anytime soon, I'd assume. Uh, and then you've got the equipment summons as well. So with that said, that's pretty much wrapping up what this game offers right now. This might be obviously because I logged in at a bad time or something like that. Obviously, there's going to be dead periods for a gacha game or just a mobile game in general. But is this enough to keep me playing this game? Even though I was such a tryhard beforehand, I don't think so. I just, I just rather have a casual turn-based game like Ultra Impact, really. So... If you guys enjoy the gameplay of Ultra Impact, definitely subscribe to the channel. It is definitely something I will definitely post in the future when that game comes out. Um, but let's get into some summons. I mean, I'm not going to... There's no point in saving up. We have a free multi on the equipments. Imagine I pull fire and I just get back into the game. And we get... Okay, we get shafted. Four star only. Uh, we've got a few of the equipments. Got some more equipment summons here. We're just looking for Todoroki's equipments. Okay. We got a five star, I guess. It's not a six star. We need it. We want a six star. Oh, midnight. Only four star though. Come on. E okay, so we got shafted on the equipments. We still have some character summons, though. And I will probably convert all my coins into summons. We got an extra 30 there. That's actually so big. There's literally only three other S-tier characters that I can pull from this. But obviously, you will get puzzle tickets, so that does help. Like, I got one for... Todoroki. Helps him get into the SS form. Oh, I just got a new unit. Togami. Nice. Wow. That was just really random. <laughs> Let's go. I guess that helps. He's very good. He's really, really good. I don't even know how good the other characters are. They could be like game breaking. It looks like I pulled another unit. Suyu. Nice. And the five star Bakugo. When that line comes up, like the the bar that shows the news, it already spoils it that I got a new character. And then I just need one more character, Momo. Literally all I need is Momo and we're done. Okay, now. Nah. <laughs> oh, wait, one more. We got a Momo puzzle ticket, but not a Momo character. Singles? Nothing. And the last single for today's video. Nothing. Alright, well, that is the strongest hero. Let me know if you guys are still interested in this game. Really, this video is just letting you guys know what's going to be happening in this game in a few months' time. And give you a final decision whether to pre-register for the game. Definitely try it out, though. Uh, for sure. And then make your own opinions, of course. But just remember this video was here. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. If you want Ultra Impact, My Hero Ultra Impact content, make sure you subscribe because I'll be posting that when it comes out on June 15th. But anyway, until the next video, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.